all right what is going on people welcome to another installment of tony's take all right i'm actually recording this kind of late at night but i just saw this shit on my timeline actually i want to give a quick shout out let me look him up real quick to my man again i gotta give him a shout out because he's the one to put me onto this just gotta find him all his name is all day mf digital so shout out to you my brother for bringing this to my attention oh man okay so i'm gonna go back a little bit right you know so a couple months ago near the beginning of the year um i was invited to check out uh like a preview build of marvel versus capcom infinite right i played the game i thought it was dope but i was wondering cause, and this goes back to when the game was first announced right because when the game was first announced you didn't see a single mutant you saw captain marvel you saw iron man uh you saw mega man you saw ryu and like okay where's wolverine at so when i was talking to these dudes i asked them like hey are there going to be any x-men characters in the game these dudes gave me that look like yo my man don't ask us about that shit <laughs> you know like if you ever talk to pr you know for you game journalists guys if you ever talk to pr there are certain looks they give you that's like we ain't talking about that so when i saw that i'm like oh shit maybe this game ain't gonna have any fucking x-men characters you know um and there was reason to support that because think about it look at the way like marvel has downplayed the x-men in the comics right they they're basically not for, actually i was gonna say they're basically not existent. that's not true they were always there but the thing is like they had this whole like two-year gap where like the x-men were about to be wiped out because of the fucking um inhumans and the terrigen mist they're trying to make the inhumans more prominent you know so i'm like okay what the fuck is going on so basically the speculation is that since fox owns the rights to the x-men fucking movies right marvel is trying to downplay him right and it seems that this bullshit has affected the video game realm right i'm specifically talking about marvel's capcom infinite obviously right so i was like okay maybe they're not gonna have any of these fucking characters right then the leaked you know the roster got leaked out there bunch of characters with the exception of nova every single marvel character was from the fucking movies every single one of them right no x-men whatsoever right so and now you know in a recent interview with GameSpot, i always say gamestop GameSpot, GameSpot, and you guys can check it out in the description below right you know capcom's producers explain why there's no x-men characters in the game and it's it's fucking bullshit to be honest with you man um let me let me pull it up here right so this is what marvel said right well i mean this is what capcom said that marvel said so they say we talked with marvel very closely about their future roadmap about what's going to be happening your modern marvel fan maybe they don't even remember some of the x-men characters but they know some of the guardians characters or black panther you know what i mean captain marvel may seem like a strange pick but she's fantastic she fits the gameplay she fits the story and there's gonna be and they're gonna be really pushing her as a strong female lead all the way up to the movie we're trying to take everything into account and choose the best characters <sighs> so you're trying to tell me that oh my fuck i don't even know where to go with this so you're trying to tell me that fans don't remember the fucking x-men right x-men people grew up with the x-men right like there's a bunch of cats out there everybody knows who wolverine is right everybody knows who storm is everybody knows who magneto is right you're gonna tell me that captain marvel is more popular than wolverine get out of here man like people barely know who carol danvers is and yes i know rocket raccoon is popular because of the stupid movie but come on he ain't more popular than wolverine it's a really stupid stupid explanation right there you know come on i'm sorry even my man black panther he ain't as big as no magneto get out of here man is is dumb you know um and then it gets better too right let me see if i can find this so you know they broke it down to like you know what it's not really the characters that people like it, it it's really the move sets that's what people like so they said if uh, this is from pete rojas he goes if you were to actually think about it these characters are just functions they're just doing things magneto case in point is a favorite character because he has eight way dash and he's really fast right so our more technical players all they want to do is triangle jump and that kind of stuff well guess what nova can do the same thing captain marvel can do the same thing ultron can do the same thing go ahead and try him out 
It's just the function that people are associating with the character, and there's no shortage of that. We made sure that all proper play styles will be represented in our current roster. The design team has been looking at that very closely. We wanted to make sure that if a legacy character doesn't happen to make the roster this time, that play style will still be represented. That somebody who has associated themselves with Magneto wouldn't be lost coming into this title. Bullshit. I'm calling BS on that one too, man. You can't have Magneto in the game because Marvel probably told you not to keep him in the game. You know, here's the thing. P previous games in the, in the series, right? You know, the old school Marvel vs. Capcom, right? And of course, X-Men vs. Street Fighter, all that other stuff, right? Basically, Marvel's like, hey, here's our characters. Have fun, right? With this game, it's different. Like Marvel Studios, Disney, whatever you want, you know, kind of the same thing now. They had a, a like a heavier hand with the development of this game, so they're probably telling them like, yeah, don't remember those characters you used to have, Wolverine, Cyclops, Psylocke, Iceman. No, 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 take them out the game. It's it's fucking dumb, man. Like, and I'm old school with this shit. Like, I've been into this series since X Men vs. Street. Actually, I've been into this shit since X Men: Children of the Atom, going all the way back. You know, great games that featured x-men right among some of the best like licensed games out there right and now it's getting like dumbed down because of nonsense you know um by the way i, I do this is a little bit off topic but i do find it funny that you know capcom saying like oh yeah we want those specific move sets um still in there like for characters like magneto that's funny to me because most of the characters in this game actually control exactly the same everybody has you know um half circle motions you do sure you can motions by pressing down down every character has the same type of combos and stuff so you know if you're going in there wanting magneto you're not you wouldn't get him anyway even if if you did have the real magneto he wouldn't control like he normally would right so I call BS on that too, right? This whole thing is just stupid, man. Like, I remember I was raging about this shit, you know, when they first talked about it, you know, when they first announced the game, you know, last year and stuff, their PlayStation experience. I'm like, what the fuck are the X-Men characters, right? And instantly when I saw it, I'm like, oh my fucking God, here we go. They're, they're going to remove them because of the whole movie rights nonsense. And there it is, man. It, it's dumb. It's fucking retarded. But, you know, I wanted to make a quick video on this. I want to get your guys' thoughts on it, obviously, because I know a lot of you guys or Marvel vs. Capcom fans specifically, and I know you can't be happy about this shit. You know, there it is, official. Th this pretty much puts, like, the kibosh on any hope that we'll see Wolverine or fucking Rogue or X-23 ever make it into these games now, man. It's fucking bullshit. But anyway, I'm done with this video, man. Uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Please share it, comment, hit like on it, unlike if you don't like it. Um, but don't hit unlike if you didn't like the subject matter just if you didn't like what I had to say you know what I'm saying but thumbs up thumbs up please and thank you all for supporting the channel as usual once again I was your boy Tony and I'll see you next time later